we are getting pretty close to this boss fight. And they give a bunch of different cool stuff along the way as well. Let's see. Head up this way. Oh, Jesus. Time to use our explosive bullet shot. Oh, wow. That trap just killed the vast majority of them. See? Very cool. Oh, hey, I found it. I think a lot of the regeneration stuff is based on, on gaining life per second and gaining life on hit. Because I know you gain a lot of stuff that's like life on hit in this game. Let's see, do we got anything for him? No, nothing. Oh, we got rings he can equip, that's cool. Good to increase his defense. Hey! Getting close! Close to the climactic finale of the stream. Go bring it there. All right. All right. There's a little cool background Keep shit. This burden is mine to bear. May death bring peace from your madness, Leoric. Traitors! Even in death, the armies of Condorus will still obey their king. Bitch. Even you will not. Bitch. So that's it. Then they stand around for a while, and then it's like, ah, death stuff. Hey, bitch. You dare to bring the Ready to get it on? And I don't mean sexually. I mean we like angry, fight a little, fight a lily. Man, they really draw this shit out. I mean, it's cool, but they really draw it out. There we go. Yeah, cause that poison damage, son. That's actually a really good damage field to lay down for a character like this. Because you can use it to basically slow him down and really... ...give you the ability to cause some range damage by just stopping them like that. Because then once they're damaged, by the time they get close enough to you, they're like one multi-shot away from death. And then you can just pop them. Very cool. Very legitorific. Burn him! Burn them! Burn them more! Yeah! Sure doesn't skimp on the action and tons of enemy murdering. Very satisfying. Although I do like games where you can just run through shit as well. My favorite part about the Halo franchise is that some of the levels, I mean, you can just kind of skip whole sections if you know what you're doing. Uh, in Halo 2, which maybe playing on stream at some point. I mean, the first time you control the Arbiter, they give you a cloak that you can use, and you can use it to just run through whole sections. It's really cool. Alright, we are here. Just a boot. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do, 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 do it. Da, 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 da. Here we go. Big cutscene. Big angry cutscene. Murder, 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 kill. Me. I don't know about that, bitch. <laughs> har, 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 har. You were defeated the moment you surrendered to madness. Yeah, what he said. You tell him mac and cheese. 
tell him, be like, you're evil, this is an intervention. We hate how you are when you're dead and summon armies of stuff, but we love you. Y'all remember that intervention show that they had on TV for a couple of years, I think? That show was fucking stupid. Like, it was good that they're trying to help people with interventions and everything, but as a show, that was just dumb. I was just here, look at this worthless asshole. Look at this asshole that's ruined their life. Ah, delicious water. Now look at all these people whose lives have been, you know, ruined by proximity. Being so close to... I don't think... Oh, I can't slow him. He's immune to certain effects. There is a game challenge. Um, it's kind of like in-game achievement points. They're actually for, for your Blizzard account, really. Um, for getting him to kill 15 of his summoned minions, which is kind of really cool. Right, yeah, burn them all down, then we're gonna get away. Yep, there we go. Kind of jumped a little early the first time, but whatever. Come on, walk over it. He's actually not really doing much damage to me. And as long as we can kill our keep our kill streak up here, once he actually goes down, we'll actually get a lot of good bonus experience because we've got um, a kill streak going. You get experience bonuses for keeping a kill streak going. It starts at 10 and it goes you know, as high as you can go, uh, which is very cool. It's a cool way to kind of incentivize you to do as much damage as possible, you know, as often as possible. Soon. Run away. Yeah, we missed him. Burn him. All right. Got to keep it going. If I can get this up to, like, 40, I think, I think I'll get double experience off of killing him. Which will be awesome. Come on, you're, you're getting there. See, and this is what I was talking about with the extra health on the bosses. So this is a unique boss, and he's got, you know, a ton of health, as you can see. It's taking me a while to burn him down, which, honestly, I really like, because then you actually have some challenge instead of, like, you have to memorize the boss's patterns to an extent, and, and you, you really have to master the fight, whereas you can kind of screw up, you know, a boss fight if, if it only lasts a very short amount of time. And you, you can fudge up certain parts uh, and still be able to beat it. Which is, is fine if that's what you're looking for, if you're not looking for a game where you can do... There we go, we got him. It's fine if you're looking for a game that you can just kind of, you know, headbutt your way through. I can't think of a better way to phrase that, but if you're looking for a challenge, it, it really kind of helps and adds to it. All right, so we got these awesome things. And we got these awesome things. They're increasing the armor quite a bit. And then some shitty boots. Let's go check out what that star was. At last, a crater. We're here. Let's check it out, bros. Talkie. So it was you who fell here and caused this chaos. And yet I know that you are not evil. Because you got a big dick. I don't know. It was. I... I remember falling. Do you remember who you are? I am not your enemy. I think. Yes, I... I believe I have come with a warning. Oh my god! The darkness, the darkness is coming. I must... The darkness! Remember. Perhaps Deckard Cain can help you. Come with me. Yay, we done did it. 
Let's walk at his pace. Actually, I've got a pretty fast walk pace. Boop, 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 boop. Let's go back to town. And trigger a cutscene. Where it talks about some shit. Look at this fucking cutscene. These aren't the awesome cutscenes I'm talking about. There are some awesome cutscenes. Cain that you get in between every act. Of this matter. Not cutscene cinematics. God damn it. I can't think. I can't think about things. Alright, so this should end I it here. At the center of the crater. No man could survive such a thing. Who are you? What are, what are you? you? A warrior, I think. I came bearing grave news, but I cannot remember. Your message might be all that can save us from impending doom. For really real, son. Yay, we did it. We beat the Skeleton King and completed the quest mission. Alright, so as I said, as soon as we got done with the whole Skeleton King arc, we were going to end the stream here. So thank you guys very much for watching. Um, tune in every Monday through Friday, uh, 9.30 p.m. for streams, and we're trying 9.30 a.m., both Pacific time. Um, you can catch all the old episodes and all the old streams on the YouTube channel. Same name, Wu-Tang Chicken. Just uh, check it out. Uh, look it up. Uh, once again, thanks for watching, and we will catch you guys next time.